look out and look up. That's the word from the city of Reno as it launches a two week campaign to make roads safer for pedestrians. Plus, the council will be looking at a pedestrian safety action plan as well. Zach Mooney joins us live in Old Southwest Reno with a preview of that plan. And Zach, is this because of the deaths that we saw last month? Well, Landon, those deaths really do highlight this issue, but the city of Reno's actually been working on this report here since January. And now the idea here is to build on current safety improvements like that radar traffic signal you see behind me. Now, this plan is going to go before the Reno City Council at tomorrow morning's meeting. Reno is sort of a small community. We have all lost someone to uh, pedestrian fatalities, and this just shouldn't happen. Since January, 11 pedestrians have died in a crash on Reno roads. Since January, city staff has been preparing a report to reduce that number. I mean, one is too many, so this council has been very passionate about it. With a tweet last month, Councilmember Jenny Breckis showed us a perfect example of dressing to be seen. The city's Look Out and Look Up campaign shares safety tips focused on pedestrians one week and drivers the next. Distractions, drugs, and alcohol are a problem for both drivers and pedestrians. We have laws for drinking and distracted driving, but Mayor Sheevy wants to focus on the other side of the equation. It's become okay to just look at your phone and cross a crosswalk. And I think that's something that we need to put an ordinance in place, that it's very, very strict fines when you're caught doing that. The council can move forward with that relatively easily. Infrastructure upgrades, however, come with a larger discussion to cover issues like which agency is going to pay for improvements. We work with uh, NDOT and RTC, and they already budget things like that, and the city does too as well. But we need to work on the same page together to make sure that we're really tackling those areas that need it the most. And the plan will go before the city council Wednesday for possible action and approval. We're going to make extremely strict laws. We're going to pay attention to distracted driving. We're going to pay attention to drunk driving, and we're going to show that this city means business. So that meeting starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the council chambers and city hall. That is on First Street in downtown Reno. Covering the story live in Reno, Zach Mooney, Channel 2 News.